Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T's study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 176. 176 on page number 101. On page number 101 and we're going to solve problem 21 and 22. They are very simple, very straightforward problems. In number 21 we have 3x plus 2 equals to 5x minus 4. And this quiz that we are working on is what we refer to as test 3. If you are interested in working on previous two tests that appear that appeared in the previous edition, on 5th edition, in 5th in edition, you will find the solutions to all the problems that appeared in test number 1 on day 61 through 70 and test 2 from 71 through 80. As a matter of fact, you will find the solutions to all the math problems that appeared in this book from day 1 through 80, if you so wish to avail yourself. Let's get going, shall we? Okay, watch what happens. Okay, watch what happens. The tradition and what we are about to do is just a tradition, is just a convention, is just a norm. Nobody's going to come and arrest you in the middle of the night if you violate the tradition. It's just a tradition. It, is, it does no harm. But the tradition dictates, the convention dictates that you always bring your unknown to the left hand side and the known quantity to the right hand side. It's just a tradition. But if we were to do that here, we need to bring the 5x here. This is the positive 5x. If we do negative 5x, we have to do negative 5x here. And what happens? This is a positive, positive 3x. This is a negative 5x. We end up with a negative 2x over here. I don't like dealing with a negative coefficient. This, this is called coefficient. Because we're going to have to divide by a negative number. I, I don't like it. I hate dealing with negative coefficient. I avoid as much as I can having to do with negative coefficient. Well, how do we avoid it? Well, it's very simple. It is very simple. Before you work, start your process, before you start your process, just you take a quick look and you realize that this, uh, this coefficient 5 is more than 3. So if you were to bring this here, you're going to end up in a negative quantity because 3 minus 5 would end up negative 2. We just saw it. So don't do that. Switch the size before you start your work. Write this quantity on this side. 5x minus 4 equals 3x plus 2. We haven't changed anything. It's perfectly fine. It's perfect. If somebody tells you that 3 plus 4 is 3 plus 4 is equal to 6 plus 1, then obviously 6 plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 4. It does no harm to switch the sides. It does no harm. So write this quantity here, that over there, and then start your process. Do you understand? Now this is a positive 3x. We need to get rid of it. Let's subtract 3x from this side and let's subtract 3x from this side. We need to bring the 4 to this side. Let's add 4 to this side and add 4 to this side. Why do we add here and subtract here? Because whatever it is, whatever the sign is there, we need the opposite sign. So now let's see what happens. This thing doesn't have any sign in front of it, but if it doesn't have any sign, that means it's positive. Positive and a negative. Positive 3x and a negative to positive 5x and a negative 3x is going to give you 2x. Positive 2x. You see we have a positive coefficient. And a negative 4 and a positive 4, they're going to kill each other. Similarly here, a positive 3x and a negative 3x, they're going to kill each other. And we end up with a 6 here, with an equal sign in the middle. We don't want to find out how 2x is, we want to find out what, what, what the x is. So divide both sides by 2. And we find out that x equals 3. x equals 3. And if you like, if you like, it only takes 5 seconds, 5, 10 seconds to actually verify your answer. You can verify it. Let's verify our answer. Let's verify it. We are claiming that x equals 3 and we want to find out if our claim is correct. If x is equal to 3, this is x, 3 times 3 would be 9. Let's do it up here. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 2, we are claiming that 9 plus 2 is equal to 5x. 5 times x, 5 times x, x is 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 4. Is, is 9 plus 2 equal to 15 minus 4? And the answer is yes, of course it is, because it equals 11. Both of them equal 11. 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 and 15 minus 4 is equal to 11. That tells us that our answer is correct. Do you understand? Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Hmm. 
number 22 number 22 is another very simple equation we have we are told that x divided by 2 plus 5 is equal to 9 but we want to get rid of this 5 we want to get rid of this 5 from this side because remember we want to keep the unknown quantities on left hand side and all the known quantities on the right hand side the unknown quantity here is x over 2 so let's get rid of this 5 how do we get rid of it well, by subtracting 5 from both sides. And now, by, sub by, by, sub by subtracting 5 from both sides, what we find here is that we have a positive 5 on this side and a negative 5. They're going to kill each other. On this side, we have a positive 9 and a negative 5. Positive, five and a ne positive 9 and a negative 5 is going to give us positive 4. And what do we end up on this side? Well, we on, on this side, we just have x over 2. This is what we have so far. This is what we have so far. But we are not interested in what x over 2 is. We want to find out what x is. And it's very obvious, obviously, x over 2 means half of something. When you, when you divide something by 2, you're taking a half of it. So what this equation tells us is that half of something is equal to 8. Well, half of something, if half of something is, if half of something is 4, not 8, I'm sorry. If half of something is equal to 4, then that something must be 8. And how do we show our work? It's very simple. We need to get rid of the 2 from the bottom. This x is being divided by 2. To undo it, to undo division, we have to multiply. To undo subtraction, we have to do addition. To undo addition, we have to do subtraction. See, for example, here, to undo addition, we have to do sub subtraction. And if we had negative, we, we would have done positive. If it was subtraction, we would have done positive. To undo division, we have to multiply by 2. Multiply both sides by 2 both sides of the equation by 2 and this positive is just here to, to make sure that's it now this 2 is going to cancel out with this 2 and x equals 8 x equals 8 and again if you like you can very quickly verify it only takes 2 seconds so we are claiming that x is equal to 8 8 divided by 2 8 divided by 2 plus 4 or rather plus 5 has to be 9 and if that is true then our work is correct 8 divided by 2, half of 8 is 4. And is 4 plus 5 equal to 9? Of course it is. Our work is correct. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.